All right, man, we're back. And today we got WWE Most Savage Comebacks Ever. Let's get right into it. I got nothing to say. Some, some of them, they go off script. Or what's written in the script could be savage. Man, you just you just don't know. You just don't know. Y'all let me know which wrestler is more known to go off script. Never mind, I got the answer. CM Punk. It gotta be CM Punk. To go off script the most. Or at least it feels like he does whenever I watch him. He, he just he just feels he just feels like he doesn't care. I probably say him, The Rock when he pop up. Um, would say Brock, but Brock he don't he don't talk much. He let his actions speak for him. Be a man, let's go. Um, now I'm ready. We still acknowledging him. Maybe you only one. I remember that. It was 2018. Brock, Brock didn't care, bro. And look at the look on Paul Heyman's face. How was your movie, by the way? Mine, mine, mine went straight, straight to DVD, just, just like, like yours. <laughs> we have broken more barriers hey, the Bella than Twins. you ever have. We have knocked down more doors. The only door you ever knocked down was the door to John Cena's bedroom. I used to watch Total Divas too. I'm not gonna lie. I I, I used to binge that. I forgot to put my earpods in. I used to binge Total Divas. And she did. She did knock down his door in one episode. I remember it too. I'm gonna leave it at that. Why don't you put a little bass in your voice then? Why don't you shut up, Steve? No. Bro, I was like, is that Steve? I thought somebody I thought it was somebody that sounded like Steve. Nobody is expecting me to win. <laughs> yeah, actually, I heard that Enzo even took out a bet against you. <laughs> no matter what you've been telling yourself the past few years, size does matter. Oh my gosh. Jericho will screw you! Anybody knows anything about screwing, it's you! Back off, dead man! I predicted that Put one. your hands on me one more time. And I'm gonna split your melon just like I'm gonna split Austin. I can do things in this ring that nobody else can do. Well, can you take that title and shove it up your ass? No! Oh. Can't take this fist and create more hits than the last Fozzy album. Whoa. Come on, He said, I can take this fist and make more hits than the last Fozzy album. I get it, but I don't get it. Fozzy. Does Chris Jericho write music? Maybe that's his artist, uh, his uh, I don't know, music persona name. And he just came out with an album around that time and it was bad. That's what I'm getting from it. You get the hell out of my ring. Any ring I step into is mine. Two years ago, your legacy died. From the very day that you were born, you've been your daddy's kind of like the Stanley Cup. They'll never see it in their lifetime. I feel like you, uh, oh my gosh. Winning, uh, championship. Oh. Sing your kid. I miss Elias. I was going to say something, but I forgot. Wait, let me go back one more. What was I going to say? Two years ago, your legacy died from the very day that you were born. Why don't you get the hell out of my ring? Oh, yeah. Sorry, it was about Rhonda. Her mic skills were eh, but she could perform in the ring. Any ring I step into is mine. Two years ago, your legacy died. From the very day that you were born, you've been your daddy's It's kind of like the Stanley Cup. They'll never see it in their lifetime. I feel like you uh, it's terrible. winning a WWE championship. Sing your kids to sleep at night like that? You're not allowed to see your kids anymore, are you? Remember? I think Matt and Seth had real problems, bro. Y'all let me know why they got rid of Matt Riddle. Because I, I don't know. I do not watch wrestling weekly. I, like I said, I tune in every now and then. When something like WrestleMania or the Royal Rumble. Their biggest pay-per-views I tune into. I might watch Backlash coming up. I'm like, I don't know, I'm like a part-time wrestling fan. But yeah, I think they had beef in real life, bro. They, 
they just, they, uh, I remember one segment on Raw, Seth was going at him, telling my housewife divorced him and stuff like that. It, it was, man. The last time you main evented WrestleMania? Oh, wait, you haven't, but your wife Becky has. I drag us all back down to reality. Reality wow. is, I kicked your ass last night. That's the reality. I'm not going anywhere just like that bald spot on your head ain't going anywhere. It was... I love this Cena and Austin segment. And then what Cena says right here is just insane. So much rather be bald than have them pipe in fake crowd noise for my matches because nobody cares. And I wanted to be the... I'm sorry for pausing so much. I've never... That's the first time I ever heard a wrestler mention the possible the possibility of fake crowd noises. That is insane. First one to get my hands on that world title. You realize that this is made out of gold, not chocolate, right? You won't have one arm tied behind your back. You will have both of your legs shackled together. All right. You're the one that needs your legs tied together. Okay, you could make a name for yourself, man. Have you ever been tag team champ? Have you ever been intercontinental champion? Are you talking to me? Sit down, right? I'm, to I'm this generation's Eddie Guerrero. You're the generation oh, of uh, James Ellsworth. You don't see Becky Lynch walking around here holding a pair of testicles, do you? But if I did, they'd be a whole lot bigger than yours. I have a gift. You and AJ. Please tell me your gift is you're retiring. You're just like everybody else here. Why don't you suck up to them a little bit more, huh? Dang, I wasn't paying attention. I apologize. Yeah, you didn't pay attention in wrestling school either, jerk. I'm Who in the hell are you? I'm Rick. Like I said, CM Punk just feels the E just feels natural. Like he he feels like there's no script at all with him. Blair, 50% owner of this company, and I'm telling you that. He can't fire me. <laughs> <laughs> he could. <laughs> And company just to fire you again. Theory, I've been for this company, and I'm telling you that he can't fire me. <laughs> <laughs> he will buy that piss and company just to fire you again. Y'all, let me know what Triple H said right there. I cannot comprehend that. All I heard was, I've got to fire you again. That's all I heard just now, bro. Is this, um, this seems like a, a, a DX reunion or something. Theory, I've been competing in Royal Rumble matches since before you hit puberty. Doesn't that just mean you're old? Well, Time, uh, money in the bank, contract winner. Or is that two-time loser? But China, I'm sure wow. you're proud of yourself, aren't you? The only thing that I'm going to be really proud of is shoving your Olympic medals down your throat. Oh, look at Wait a minute. The Miz sucks. Am I lying? Ask me. No, he doesn't. But your mom does. Prince Burrow's a dump. Am I telling the truth? So, Mr. Orton, you will be reprimanded. Why don't you come down here and reprimand me to my face? She's like the little flower. Hold on now, Vicky. You don't want no smoke, Vicky. I think that was Bald Orton just now. Leave him alone. <laughs> I'd have to say that little Steffi baby lost her flower a long time ago. Hey, you can't. I'd have some confidence issues if my dad made his living being Rowdy Roddy Piper's personal bitch. When I get my title back, and you'll be my bitch. You are nothing but a broken down has been. I had much rather be a broken down has been than a giant. That never won walking papers. You they cut it off. Dominate. You two have been raw tag team champions, but I can't help but notice as of late, you've been a little out of sync. Kind of like you <laughs> and your wife, right? ECW <laughs> is dead, and I wish the same for Sammy Zayn. Say goodbye to them while you still can. We've been waiting for you to talk for over a year, and that's all you bring to the table. We all know the only reason you got a job here is because of your cousin. I remember this. Nothing but a bargain basement Taz ripoff. I would, but um, I know where that hand's been. I was born in this town. Who doesn't matter where you are born?
I'm sorry, Young Stephanie. Mm, mm, mm. Man. Young Steph, look at her. Look at her. I'm a glaze for a little bit. Wait a minute. God, told my front man. She's still pretty today. How is she not like? And be careful here. Late 40s, early 50s. That's what I'm going with. Oh, wee. All right, let me play the video. Came up a little bit short. It was that the field I was playing on was just too damn big. Oh, no! Even the 747 looks small when you're flying it into the Grand Canyon. What in the world? You stabbed in the back on the same night your other brother told the world he was fighting leukemia again. Sorry, but this conversation oh, no. doesn't concern you. Everything in this ring concerns me. Certainly we've got similarities. We don't smoke, we don't drink, we don't do drugs, but you know Anymore. something? Oh, I think that's a, I think that's a current event thing around that time. Shawn Michaels. I'm not gonna have my facts straight here, so I'm not gonna say anything. But y'all, let me know what that is too, if you want. Oh wow! He hits way harder than you do. Did San Martino dispute me? No. Did Triple H dispute me? No. Cena, off. Yeah, I know I left out Andre because he's dead, stupid. Oh, you think it's funny that I lost? Yeah. You know what's funny? I think what's funny is the only way you'd ever win a Slammy is they, if they had a has-been of the year category. I will show them the straight edge way. The straight edge way. Does the straight edge way mean that you also have to look like you haven't taken a shower in two weeks? I've stayed retired. Musty. Out of respect. Or is it fear? I'm seven foot two. Am I the only one bothered that The Undertaker's career ended? Um, during the pandemic, I don't think he had an actual. Well, his last match was that Boneyard match, right? I don't think he had an actual WrestleMania retirement. Yeah, he did. He did. No, his career ended at Survivor Series 2020. Yeah. Man, I I was start the one more match hashtag, but he 57 to eight now. I don't. I really wish he uh, went out with a bang. I'm 500 pounds. Largest athlete in the world today. Kick your team. Blah, 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 no! blah, blah, blah. Are you actually going to do something? Or are you just going to stand up there like the bitch that you are? Oh. Hey, hey. What? Are you still here? <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. Unlike your money in the bank contract. Oh man! Please don't take me seriously. In fact, I'd take you even more seriously if this was 2005. Cause that's when you were asking mom and dad to stay up late to watch me on TV because you wanted to be a wrestler. Ooh, that he's probably not wrong too. I like when uh, old wrestlers and young wrestlers go at each other. You get moments like that. All right, man. I do for this WWE Savage moment promo thing, Jiggy, whatever you want to call it. If you want more? Just let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see what I can find. Yeah, subscribe to the Food Channel Gaming Channel. And I'll see you on my next video. I'm out.